Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and today we're going to talk more about Commerce Kickstart for Drupal, and more importantly, Drupal Commerce as a whole. What's cool about Commerce Kickstart here is it adds all the stuff for us to make everything nice and easy, and particularly you might be noticing this doesn't look a whole ton like Drupal. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's mystery will start to, you know, show through and you'll be able to start to see all the Drupal elements. They're just reskinned, redone in a way, and it's going to feel like home if you're used to working in Drupal. So, uh, one thing is when you first install it, it comes to that getting started and it gives you a little video and some information. If you clicked out of that and you want to get back to it, you can actually go to help and it's going to show up here, getting started. And down here, it gives you all these great resources, how to get set up with PayPal and all this stuff. And there's a help section built in to Drupal. It shows you how to do all this great stuff. So this is a huge jump forward because when Drupal Commerce was first released for Drupal 7, I mean, it was just, it was really confusing. There was no documentation. Things were breaking nonstop. And because nobody was using it, nobody knew how to use it. And you'd had to pay a specialist to do anything. So uh, this is a huge jump forward. And Commerce Kickstart 2 is pretty much the only way I would do a Drupal Commerce project at this point. So it looks great. Um, so let's give a brief tour of Drupal Commerce. Uh, kickstart here and your first item on your menu is reports we don't have access to any reports right now because to do that you need to sign up for this draft account and you can do that and then you'll enter your ID and token and it's going to show up we'll do that in another video so let's not worry about reports just yet um, so down here we also have products if you click on products it's going to take you to Basically, this is the equivalent of content. You click on this, and this is going to be sort of like the content screen. You can filter by you know, your content types and stuff like that. You can see all your most recent uh, content. However, it's really just products. Um, if you hover over this and we click Manage Products, it's going to be the same screen. So this is your Manage Products. If you go to Add a Product, this is where you can add your different types of products. And here you have all these different types of products, which would be like your content types. And you'll notice that we have over here another tab that's add content. And this might be a little bit more familiar because these are your Drupal content types, basic page. However, they give you a couple other ones. They give you ad push, uh, they've renamed article to blog post, and they have slideshow, which is the slideshow right here. So that's great. And let's see what else we have. For settings, we have categories. So our categories are sort of like our taxonomy. And you'll see edit vocabulary. So we have bag size. If we list the terms, this is going to be the different bag sizes. But this is really just a taxonomy. So all of this should feel right at home because this is the same thing you're doing in Drupal. It's just a little bit different. If you go to variation types, same deal. It's going to be your content types. It's uh, so familiar that we have uh, manage fields, manage display, edit. It's the same thing. It's reskinned. It's a little bit different, but it's the stuff you want. And uh, it, it, what's this is this is why this commerce kickstart is so great. You're all set up here, and this is a storefront. This doesn't feel like this doesn't necessarily feel like Drupal has been, you know, twisted into something it isn't. This feels like it should be a store. Okay, so uh, next up is orders. Here we have all of our orders. You can manage them by default. The sample data, it's given us three orders. We can do this quick edit and it's gonna allow us to edit that information here or we can click this drop down, edit and edit it further. We can also add an order directly from the back end, um, adding line items. Um, we can add a discount. You could put in your, your customer's information so uh, over here we have content. So content is just like products, except for it's your content. This is, it should be exactly what you'd expect. It's your normal Drupal content. Your, uh, your comments, your content, you can add content, you can add content types. If you've used Drupal, this is all exactly what you're going to be, exactly what you'd expect. However, one thing you're gonna notice here is that not only do you have your content types, like your blog posts and stuff? You also have your products, which they are referring to as a product display here. And the simple yes lets you know that this is a type of product. 
and this is a page itself. Cool. So we can always add more and we'll be doing lots of that. And store settings is where it gets a little crazy and site settings where you'd expect a lot of this other stuff to be that you've used before, some of it under a different name. So in the next video, we're going to go over these two settings and we're going to get you all set up so you know exactly what to do when you want to start your Drupal Commerce project. As always, this is Scott with the Love Touch. Thanks for watching. Bye.